So in this video, we're gonna learn how to use the camera tools in order to see better inside of tight interiors. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So when you're working with a model like this cabin concept from Mike Brestel, sometimes you wanna bring your camera inside of a space. But when you try to zoom into the space, you can't really see very well. You can kind of navigate around, but notice how you're just not seeing quite as much of the space as maybe you want to. So what you can do though, in order to widen that camera field of view is to use the zoom tool. So we're going to come over here on the left-hand side and click the three dots and we're gonna use zoom. Now, when we click on this, notice that we don't want to just click and drag up and down because that's actually going to move our camera. But there's an option down here to hold shift in order to change your field of view. So if I hold shift and click and drag, notice how my field of view is going to get wider. And you can see the value in the lower right hand corner adjusting as well. So when we use this, we can use this in order to make our camera view wider. And note that you can also type in values and hit the enter key in order to adjust that field of view. So if you don't want to use um, the shift key and click and drag, you can use those tools as well. But note that the really wide values, like if I go up to 85 or something like that, are going to give you kind of this image distortion inside of your scene. So just be aware of that, but you can use this in order to set your camera field of view. Also note when you save your scenes. So if I was to click on a scene right here, we're just gonna add a new one that your field of view gets saved within your scene. So say I was to adjust this so that it had a 35 degree field of view and then add a new scene. Notice how this is gonna add a second scene and that field of view is going to be saved in that scene. So if I click between them, that field of view is going to adjust. So you can use this in order to save different scenes with different fields of view as well. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything we talked about in this video. I'm gonna to link to another video on this page that talks more about some better interior navigation tips for SketchUp. I recommend you watch that as well. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.